Hey, this is Jamie Turner with the 60 Second Marketer. What is your favorite Super Bowl commercial? That's one of the questions that they asked me at CNN this morning. Let's check it out. Um, how much impact do they really have at the end of the day? At the end of the day, big impact, but you can have a loser too. Last year, of course, Burger King did a spot that really wasn't that good, but mostly we're talking about commercials that make you laugh or make you cry. When you do that, you can get people to feel emotion about your brand. Emotion creates a memory. Memories create buying the product. So overall, the Super Bowl strategy, if you have a lot of money to spend, is an excellent I was going to say, so the five million for 30 second ad is worth it. Yeah, today. it is. So you yeah. got, and then you have to throw production costs on top of that. Oh so my gosh, a, yeah, think yeah, about a, it. A ton of money. Now, if you're Budweiser, if you're Microsoft, if you're any of the big brands, you got a lot of money to spend, you can get away with it. If you're a smaller brand, don't waste your money, too much money in one Speaking thing. Speaking of Budweiser, yeah. when they got those horses out a couple years ago, yeah. I was in tears. Watch what they're doing this year. Like this typical American, showing off his strength. So typical. Uh, look at him, touching other people's things. Always so competitive. Typical Americans showing up uninvited. I never saw an opportunity in football because I'd never seen a female coach before. Let's run it again, run it again, let's People go. tell me that people aren't ready to have a woman lead, but these guys have been learning from women their whole lives. Moms, grandmas, teachers. You expect a beer commercial to be funny, and yet they bring the emotion every time. Yeah, they really do. And what I love about that spot is that they are taking a polarized country and saying, let's come together and be Americans, and this is what it means to be an American. That's a great strategy for them because it makes you feel good about Budweiser, good about being an American, and it kind of creates this uh, centrist sort of, hey, we're all one thing, mm -hmm. which is an American. That was a great idea for Budweiser to do that. Alrighty, and speaking of that, um, coming together. How yeah. about the political ads? Have not seen this before. Yeah. Uh, we've got both President Trump and Michael Bloomberg, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, uh, buying $10 million worth of ads. Yeah. Essentially. One for Bloomberg, two for President Trump. Talk to me about um, the, the timing of these, because as I understand it, President Trump specifically has one early in the game. Yeah. Yeah, so why does that matter so much? Well, if the if it's a blowout and you're running in the fourth quarter, you lose a lot of money because right. basically people tune out or they start drinking more, or eating more Doritos, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> End result is that they sit around and they don't pay attention. If it's a close game, you're okay. So actually spots cost a little bit less depending on where you go in the commercial, in the in the Super Bowl. What's interesting is this is one of the first times that we've had this kind of political advertising on yeah. the Super Bowl. We'll see how it plays out. I think Donald Trump did a good job talking about the economy, his strong suit. Bloomberg's doing an interesting couple of spots. Those are things that some of them are a little bit controversial, but it'll get people talking, which is what you want at the end of the day for people to be talking about. And perhaps about a, a new audience. Thank you so yeah. much, Jamie. Excellent. We appreciate Great to it. See you. Absolutely. No, 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 no.